Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to show you how to, in about 10 minutes, stop your roof from leaking in your car. In order to do that, you need four things. Some type of degreaser, like rubbing alcohol, a rubber squeegee, tub and tile sealer, specifically waterproof and ideally silicone, and some Q-tips. That's all you need to do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give you a 30 second rundown on what needs to happen to fix this issue. And then I'll go into a much longer detailed one. So the first thing you need to do is to remove your weather strip in your car. So what you wanna do is take the edge of the squeegee, you begin to pry off the weather strip in the center. And on newer cars, the way that the weather strip is attached is there's a pin on the front and there's a pin on the back and the weather strip sits on the pin like this. So what you need to do is loosen the weather strip up in the center and then push it forward to release the pin in the front and then push it forward to release the pin in the back. And I'll go into much more detail later on. So once you have the pin removed, you want to look for any cracks in the rivets. So why the roof begins to leak is over time in cars, the way that the roof of the car is attached to the body is through several rivets and welds that go across where this weather strip is. So over time they crack in a road and they begin to rust. And when they do, then water can then seep through the roof and then get into the body of your car. So what you wanna do is seal that with the silicone sealer. And you want to look for any little cracks across there and then just take a little bit of dab of sealer and seal it off, let it dry, replace the weather strip, and you're done, that's it. Now, my car in particular here is a 2010 model Acura RL. Now, you can really use the same strategy to pull up any weather strip for cars that are 2009, 2010, or newer. And what you wanna be careful is that you don't break the weather strip um, so you want to just pry this up in the middle first and I mean it, it, it will be it will be pretty pretty in there and it, it takes some effort to actually get it so that it comes up and it's fine it, it should so once you get the weather strip loose in the center um, it, it really will just kind of come up pretty easily, just like that. Now, once you have this weather strip up, you're gonna want to take a paper towel with some dishwashing soap, um, some type of degreaser, and just go along the side with paper towel and just run, run through there to make sure that you get some of the dirt and debris out of it. You wanna make sure that you remove as much of that stuff as possible before you apply the caulking, because that way you'll get a very good seal. Now, if you have a leak on one side of your car, it really is probably a good idea to check the other side. So in my particular instance, I had a leak on the left side of the roof and because I wanted to get some better shots filming, I ended up taking the right side off. And I just wanted to show you guys this because when I took the right side off, I was actually a little shocked and surprised because all of this, in here is actually rust um, and it, it was actually much worse than the left side it just hadn't fully cracked all the way through yet so if you take your weather strip off and you've got a situation where you have rust you're gonna want to take something like a metal scraper like this and loosen some of the debris which I've already done to a pretty large extent here now, once you have that debris loosened, then you're gonna to wanna to take something like steel wool or a wire brush and go along the chamber and get as much rust out of there as you can before you apply any type of sealant or anything. Because if you don't, I promise that it will be much worse or create a leak later on. And as I'm doing this, I see that I'm actually pulling up some caulking 
from a previous time that this was sealed um, before I had purchased the car. So after I clean this up a little bit more, I'm gonna take a shock vac to this and I'm going to suck all that stuff out of there and I may put a little bit of paint back on there. Um, I have to really take a look at it and see what needs to happen. I've taken some steel wool and a wire brush and a shop vac. And then I've also taken a paper towel that was soaked in rubbing alcohol and degreased this and cleaned up as much as the rust as I could. Left over automotive paint from a touch up job that I did. And it's really, really not necessary to put it on, but I have it and it's the same color of the car, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm just gonna go all the way along the whole inside of the weather strip area. And I'm gonna do that, let it dry before I put the caulking in. So if you're not planning on keeping your car a whole lot longer, or you just wanna temporarily fix the leak, you can go ahead and put the caulking right in. Um, if you don't have an issue with rust, you don't need to do any of these steps. Um, it's kind of beyond overkill, but it, it's the right way to do it to make the repair last a long time. Now that I have the paint and the weather strip joint, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tub and tile seal. The rule of thumb for this is typically you wanna put as little as possible to seal the crack. In this particular circumstance, because it was rusted so much and because I really don't anticipate ever needing to replace the weather strip, I am gonna go ahead and cock the entire thing and then I'm gonna put the weather strip on while the caulking is wet. Typically you don't want to do that. You want to wait until the caulking is totally dried and then put the weather strip on and it will last longer that way. But because I'm gonna seal the whole thing, um, because I'm gonna seal the whole thing and I don't really ever want to need to do this again, I'm gonna make it so it's more permanent rather than temporary. Um, I would leave it up to your judgment whether you want to do that or not. If you do ever need to take the weather strip off for whatever reason, there's a chance that if you seal the whole thing, it's going to be damaged or that when you peel it back up, it'll be difficult to get off or it could rip the rubber. Um, it could tear some of the rubber, rubber stripping right off of the top of this. Now, um, in most cars, it's a hundred or $150 part. So use your judgment and decide what you wanna do with it. And I'll film myself doing that. And that's pretty much it. You're completed at that point. Go by what the caulking says on when to let it get wet. This says don't let water touch it for 24 hours. Um, so I, I would maybe park your car inside for a day or you know, if it's raining, don't take it outside right away because it's gonna wash this away. So. Um, you know, use common sense. One other thing that's worth noting about putting the caulking on is as you look down the, breath, the weather strip, you'll see that there are little small indentations that kind of look like they go down. And those are the weld rivets. And those do have a tendency to crack and rust over time. So if you are going to do something like what I'm doing where you're gonna seal the whole thing, uh, it is probably important to also seal those. Because um, I, I just took a bead of caulking down the one side here because that's enough to seal the weather strip. But I'm also now going to go back and make sure that I get the rivets coated just in case they will rust or crack over time. That way I'm covered and I don't need to replace it. And I'm just going to freehand the camera here so you guys can see what this actually looks like on the inside and get a better idea for what I mean by the rivets. So where those little balls are in the middle, um, those were where the weld rivet joints were. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Now, the material that I'm using too isn't extremely strong. It's not a super adhesive, so I know that if I ever need to get this up, I can. Um, but just so you guys can see what that looks like. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is just to go ahead and replace the weather strip. Um, at least for my car, the end that is flat like this is the front. 
and the end that has this little tab that comes off of it is the back. Um, and I know that because I paid attention to it when I was taking it off. So when you reinstall the strip, you just want to set it down, then you want to take the back strip and make sure that the clip catches. <clears throat> so when you reinstall this weather strip, what you want to do is you want to take the back end and make sure that you put this clip on and that the clip, the clip catches and you want to do that first. And then you want to take the front end and make sure that the clip catches. And then you can go ahead and push the weather strip down. and slide it forward. And once you've got that slid forward and into place, you can see here that it really won't move at all anymore now. So that is sealed and good to go. If you guys found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.